What's up guys, CJ the Bob's Burgers Movie Fan 2008 here and I'm going to review on Avatar The Way of Water which this is going to be the last review for today. I can't believe I've reviewed on a lot of things today. I was supposed to only review on the Garfield movie because it's Father's Day but but I decided to make more reviews. Yeah, so it's been a great day today. I've been reviewing on a lot of movies. I've been reviewing on a lot of things and all. I reviewed a lot of things today so this is my last review today. Yeah. So today's I'm re so last review today of tonight. I'm gonna review on Avatar: The Way of Water. So yeah, well, basically what the plot is, it takes place after the first movie. In this movie, Jake, Sully, and Nitri, Nitri, um, have formed a family and doing everything to stay together. They uh, however, they must leave their home and explore the regions of Pandora. And when an ancient threat resurfaces, Jake must fight a difficult war against the humans and that's what basically what the plot is so hang on guys sorry about that guys back to us saying so yeah so when i heard that this movie was getting a sequel i was like oh yeah that's awesome i was i knew there was gonna be a sequel because first movie ended like in a cliffhanger well not a cliffhanger but i was hoping for there to be a sequel so then uh, I heard it was going on 2021, I was like hyped, and then when it got delayed to 2022, I was okay with it. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I mainly, mainly I, I get pretty upset when movies get delayed, but sometimes I am um, okay with it. Like, I was okay it, when the Spider-Man Cross Spider-Verse got, got delayed, I was okay with it. When the Super Mario Bros. movie uh, got delayed, I got, I was actually, I was upset first, but then got, then decided that I was actually okay with it. So yeah, so yeah, Avatar the Way of, when Avatar the Way of Water got uh, delayed, I was actually okay with it because there were some other movies I was planning to watch in 2021 in December. But yeah, so then I waited for a trailer. I was like, then when the trailer came, I absolutely loved it. So then I decided to go see it in the cinemas. And then when I watched it, I absolutely loved it, and I was like. I was plowing at the end, I was like, whoa, what an awesome movie, it's even longer than Avengers Endgame, yeah, this movie's longer than Avengers Endgame, cause this movie's like three hours long, which is awesome, but yeah, which I love Avengers Endgame, so yeah, so yeah guys, I absolutely love this movie, the climax in this movie is a masterpiece, the characters are great, and the, uh, the plot, it's just, the plot's really good, I just like the plot. So yeah. And yes guys, this movie it's just it's just amazing. I just love this movie very much. So yeah. I just, I don't know I did like to said I like this movie more than the first movie, but then I don't know which it is hard decision. So yeah, this is one of the best movies of twenty twenty two, along with um Minions and Rise of Gru. Um Oh, mm. Strange, Strange World, Lilo Crocodile, I can handle people's opinions on Lilo Crocodile, uh, DC League of Super Pets, uh, Puss in Boots Last Wish, of course, and of course, the top three best movies of 2022, Top Gun Maverick, Sonic Hedgehog 2, and the Bob's Burgers movie, yeah, and Accelera, yeah. Which, yeah, I love those movies that I mentioned, but mainly Bob's, the Bob's Burgers movie. Oh, and the bad guys, I love the bad guys too. And yeah. Which, yeah, so, yeah, the, so Night is still a good character, Jack is still my favorite character. The new characters were great, I like the new characters. And all that stuff, and yeah. I just don't know what to say, guys. This movie's a masterpiece. I love this movie very much. So, yeah. Uh, and, uh... I heard this movie three hours long. I was like, wow. I'm going to need a lot of drinks to get through this movie. Because cause I get... Because I drink a lot of drinks to get through um, three hour movies. Like, I did it for the Batman and Oppenheimer. So, yeah. So, then I got through. And I did not want to miss a single bit. So, yeah. And then I loved it very much. And then when I got home, 
I decided just to go to sleep because I was too tired. Like the movie was three hours long, so I just decided to go to sleep and because yeah, I was a bit too tired. Which yeah, but I, I was fine though. And yeah. But then this movie made so much money at the box office. Like this movie made so much money. I mean, it would have been number one movie in the world, but don't care though. Yeah, but James Cameron did it again. Yeah. And just let you know, there's going to be an Avatar 3, which, come night, which I'm very hyped for, Avatar 3. It's going to be one of the best number three movies I've, ever, along with to, uh, Tom... No, it's not Top Gun 3, sorry. Uh, shit. Kung Fu Panda 3, it's going to be one of the best number 3 movies ever, along with Kung Fu Panda 3, Sonic Hedgehog 3, even though it's not out yet, but I know it'll be awesome, it'll be a masterpiece. Uh, Alright, Ice Age 3, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, uh, let's see what else, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Avengers Infinity War, of course, uh, Accelera, Accelera, which yeah. I'm playing this game as well, so yeah. Which yeah, I love, um... So yeah, overall guys, I give this movie a 10 out of 10. It's a cinematic masterpiece. I love this movie very much. And I was fine with it when it got delayed, so yeah. There's not much to say about this movie. It's just a masterpiece. I love this movie very much. I uh, know this movie has been short, but I don't really care, honestly. I'm just a bit tired. But yeah. And most of this movie, this movie is like, most of the scenes, is, they're just underwater. In the movie. It's just, when most scenes are in, just in underwater. Which, yeah. Which, I'm not, I don't have any negatives about this movie, it's just, yeah. And, I just, I just, and I love what the um, action scenes, the action scenes were awesome. And the scene where the son dies, yeah, that scene was very, very sad. It was very emotional, that scene. But yeah. And I have this movie on DVD, of course. Which I'm glad to have this movie on DVD. And yeah. So yeah, overall, guys, I give this movie, a, like I said, I give this movie a 10 out of 10. It's a must, it's a cinematic masterpiece. I love this movie very much. It's one of the best movies I've ever watched in my life. Nearly up there with Free Guy, but Free Guy's still my number one favorite movie of all time. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and skadoosh.